in order based on the script. Oh, that's good. When do we hear? No. I mean, is there sort so, of a next cut, or so is this the final? It's not totally clear because, you know, Beth got that contact that she got. Yeah. And they want us to come down there in March. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know about this. Yeah, Beth um, uh, got an email from the guy whose name was. You want to go? No, go ahead. So, that's her. Yeah. Okay, so I'm told that we're streaming live for our last session of the day today. We're incredibly pleased uh, to be recognizing our class of 2020 online teaching ambassadors uh, today. Um, Aaron's going to tell us a little bit more about the program and, um, and walk us through um, the presentation of these awards. All right, thanks, Alex. So um, the Open SUNY Online Teaching Ambassador Program is uh, designed to recognize our exemplary online educators who are enthusiastic and effective in online teaching on their campuses and who can be positive and strong advocates for online teaching throughout SUNY. Um, Open SUNY Online Teaching accepts nominations from all of our SUNY institutions annually to recognize the um, outstanding online instructors as Open SUNY Online Teaching Ambassadors. And we have um, had several cohorts running since 2016. On our website, you can see all of the past cohorts, and they're listed there for you by campus and then by year. So it's a great repository to kind of go and connect with other people um, and see who else maybe even from your institution or somewhere nearby you um, is, is uh, doing the same kinds of things that you are. So I'm so excited today. Uh, we, did, we did recognize two people yesterday. And um, so if you were here for that, that was Jonathan Little from Monroe Community College and Sabrina Casucci from uh, University of Buffalo. So it's great to have them. So our first ambassador we're going to recognize today, now that I know how to say his name, is Michael Figuccio. <laughs> Michael was nominated by Maya Benz. Michael is an assistant professor of de developmental psychology, as he told you, at Farmingdale State College. He teaches traditional face-to-face -face hybrid and online classes. Michael's teaching interests include child development, atypical development, child cognitive development, and introductory psychology. He's passionate about online teaching, was recently awarded the inaugural 2019 Online Teaching Innovation Fellowship. Congratulations, Michael. I stand. <laughs> I know. Next, we'd like to also recognize from Farmingdale State College, Emily A. Fogarty, nominated by Maya Benz. Emily is an assistant professor in the Department of History, Politics, and Geography at Farmingdale. She has a longstanding passion for teaching students the geospatial science of geography, instructing college courses beginning in 2003 and teaching online since 2011. She later developed and implemented a Bachelor of Science degree program for Geo Geographic Information Systems. And she currently instructs online courses um, such as uh, World and Its Peoples, Physical Geography, Spatial Analysis, Urban Geography, and Digital Earth. Very interesting course titles. That's why I wanted to read them. They're fascinating. Congratulations, Emily. Next, we'd like to recognize Hyung Yi Pun, nominated by Tamara Couples. Hyung Yi is an associate professor of art history at the Fashion Institute of Technology. Her scholarships focus on history of collecting, reception of Asian art, diaspora of Asian artists, and Asian American visual culture. She's taught on an online version of East Asian art and civilization in the regular semesters for five years and developed new online courses such as Korean art and civilization and Japanese art and civilization. Um, she's also developed a blended version of Art in New York, which is a popular field trip-based course as well. Congratulations, Kenya. Congrats.
Um, the last two nominees that are here in person were both nominated uh, by Robin Hill. First is Fabio Montella. Fabio is an assistant professor of library services and an adjunct professor of history at Suffolk County Community College. He's been an active member of the college since 2010 and has been teaching there since 2012. His areas of focus include information literacy as a means to combat misinformation in the digital age and the study of local sports organizations as a microcosm of imagined communities. Congratulations, Fabio. And last, our nomination in person is Joshua Wolfson. Joshua is an assistant professor of health, wellness, and physical education at Suffolk County Community College. He started his professional teaching career working in K-12 public schools before transferring over to higher education in 2011. Joshua has created online courses working with faculty to help increase departments' online course offerings and working with administration to promote and improve online education training for faculty. Congratulations, Joshua. Um, before I just read you the rest of the list, I want to acknowledge Lisa Berardino, who um, I am told is joining us virtually. Lisa was nominated by Rick Shelton. Lisa has taught online courses in the College of Business Management at SUNY Poly for over 20 years. She teaches human resources management in the MBA program. Her approach to her online courses is to start with a strong, clear foundation and then add variety and fun things. Keeping students engaged and making a personal connection continues to be all important for Lisa. So congratulations to Lisa. And you can see the names on the slides, but um, just to acknowledge one last time from Alfred State College, we have Linda Panter and Jill Amati, um, nominated by Maureen Kashera, nominated by Daniel O'Brien, we have Brenda Sabo. From Binghamton University, nominated by Andrea McArgle, we have Misha Marzell. From Buffalo State College, nominated by Megan Pereira, Mark Pozlesny, and John Cabra. <laughs> I know. I can't do it twice, though. From the University of Buffalo, in addition to Sabrina Kasuchi, we have Alex Reed. From Duchess Community College, nominated by Chrissy Mitchell, Johanna Halsey, and Michael Hall. From the Fashion Institute, uh, nominated by Antonia Blanchford, Mario Valero. From SUNY Fredonia, nominated by Lisa Mella Husky, Michael Dunham, and Linda Hall. From Herkimer College, nominated by Tabitha Carter, Cynthia Gabriel. From Jamestown Community College, nominated by Stan Scrabbit, uh, Teresa Baginski, and Jim Cimenti. From Monroe Community College, in addition to Jonathan Little, nominated by Andrea Gilbert, we have Eileen Radigan. From Nassau Community College, nominated by Debbie Spiro, Robert Genter, and Elizabeth Wood. From Niagara County Community College, nominated by Lisa DeBuck, Marissa pitlack Surdick. From SUNY Purchase, nominated by DU, Samantha Marine, and Nicholas Roberts. From Stony Brook University, nominated by Linda Unger, Maylin Shen, Kathleen Gambino, and Cara Delorada and from SUNY Poly nominated by Nick Shel Rick Shelton, Noreen DeCora. So to read all of the ambassador profiles, it's a very simple bit.ly, it's just 2020 SUNY ambassadors. Congratulations to the 2020 cohort. Yeah, that's great. Thanks so much, Erin, and thanks again uh, to our class of 2020 online teaching ambassadors. Um, I want to, if you have not um, nominated um, any of your faculty from your campus for this recognition, I want to encourage you to check out uh, the website where the information is about doing this um, and, um, and to take the opportunity to have your amazing online faculty recognized uh, by our community of practice in this manner. The faculty um, get a, an online profile on our web page where they're, allowed, they're enabled to give a, a testimonial about why they're so enthusiastic about online teaching. 
uh, and we give them varieties of opportunities over the course of the year to engage and interact um, with the broader SUNY community of online practitioners to share their enthusiasm in a variety of ways uh, from their individual perspectives and contexts um, on, um, on online teaching. Um, so, for example, they might do a blog post or they might create a video tour of their course to share or they might um, create a, a video testimonial um, about something that they would like to share with the rest of the community. They can do brown bag lunches on, um, uh, at their own institution. They can do fellow chats for us that, that are then a lunchtime chat, half hour, where they talk about something that they um, uh, are very enthusiastic about in terms of online teaching. So I really want to um, encourage uh, the instructional designers and directors of online learning to take the opportunity to recognize the faculty on your campus who are doing amazing work and who the simple criteria is that they be um, enthusiastic about online teaching and willing to share over the course of the year in a variety of ways of their choice. Uh, so I, I would really like to encourage folks to take advantage of that. So I'm wrapping up the day today with a little preview of tomorrow. Tomorrow we have um, um, another uh, amazing doodle engagement activity in the morning um, with Lisa and Danielle. Um, we also have friends from Columbia University joining us to talk about um, um, equity and uh, inclusion in online um, um, adult instruction, and uh, this is with our, our new friend Mattia and her colleague Elizabeth. Uh, she's been with us for the whole conference. Really thrilled to have you here, Mattia. And we also have... Um, um, a wonderful panel of folks talking about competency-based education, and that's our own Ginger Bedell and Callie Morrison and uh, James. James, are you here? Actually, I, I saw him, right. He was here. But anyway, they're going to be, um, and they're from APUS Western Governors and uh, Southern New Hampshire University. So an amazing panel to close out the conference uh, tomorrow. So we start at 9 o'clock. I hope that you have a wonderful evening in New York City and go do something super fun, like bucket list, like Aaron did this morning, <laughs> something on your bucket list. So go have fun. I hope it's not raining. Enjoy, and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 9. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks to the virtual folks, our ambassadors, and everybody today. Fabulous day. Thank you.